Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should inspect your sales tax preferences within QuickBooks before you begin collecting sales taxes through your sales forms in case you need to modify any of the default settings. To do this, select Edit and then Preferences from the menu bar to open the Preferences dialog box. In the scroll box at the left side of this screen, click the Sales Tax icon and then click the Company Preferences tab that appears to the right to set your company defaults for sales tax. At the top of the Company Preferences tab, the Yes Option button for the Do You Charge Sales Tax question should be selected to enable sales tax within your QuickBooks company file. Under the Setup Sales Tax Item section, use the Your Most Common Sales Tax Item drop-down to select the default sales tax item or sales tax group to use within sales forms if you create a sales form for a customer that does not have a sales tax setting specified. In the Assign Sales Tax Codes section, you can set the default codes used to indicate taxable and non-taxable customers and items within QuickBooks. You can also check the checkbox for Identify Taxable Amounts as T for Taxable when printing to print a T for Taxable Amounts within sales forms. In the When Do You Owe Sales Tax section, select the Correct Option button to indicate when you owe sales taxes that are collected. The options are As of Invoice Date, meaning accrual basis, or Upon Receipt of Payment, meaning the cash basis. Then select an option button within the When Do You Pay Sales Tax section to indicate how frequently you make sales tax payments. Your choices are monthly, quarterly, or annually. When you have finished setting your default sales tax preferences, click the OK button in the Preferences dialog box to save your settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.